Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to talk about respiration, which is a set of metabolic reactions that provides energy for living cells. There are two main types of respiration, anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration. All living cells use one of these types of respiration to get the energy they need to maintain their metabolism. Let's start with anaerobic respiration first. Anaerobic respiration does not require oxygen. The first stage of anaerobic respiration is glycolysis and takes place in the cytoplasm. In this stage, one glucose molecule is split into two three carbon sugars and two ATP are produced. In order for this process to continue, the next step is fermentation. There are two main types of fermentation, either alcoholic fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. They both accomplish the same thing. They regenerate key molecules that are necessary to keep glycolysis going. So in this way, an organism that does anaerobic respiration is able to produce a small amount of ATP even when oxygen is not present. Let's compare that to aerobic respiration now. Aerobic respiration starts with the same process of glycolysis in the cytoplasm. Glucose is broken into two three-carbon sugars and two ATP are produced. Then what happens is the products from glycolysis move into the mitochondria and go through two more stages, the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. During these two complex metabolic processes, 34 more ATP are produced by breaking down glucose more completely. So your net total of ATP from aerobic respiration is 36 compared to 2 ATP for anaerobic respiration. Most organisms use aerobic respiration if they can get the oxygen because it's more efficient and it allows their cells to get more energy more efficiently. But in certain cases, like in human muscle cells when it runs out of oxygen, or in anaerobic bacteria and yeast, being able to get energy from glucose when oxygen is not present is an important and useful metabolic process. I hope that was helpful.